This is a dropper post. It is simply a sit post that goes up and down with the press of a lever, to always be in the perfect position when riding. It is one of the best upgrades you can do to a bike if you don't have one. But uh, you know what's better than a dropper post? Well, a wireless dropper post. But uh, yeah, I think I'll need to build my own. As always, I started this project by designing everything I needed in CAD taking measurements and deciding what parts I had to buy. I settled on using a couple of uh, Siduino Xiao boards to control everything, in combination of some uh, NRF24 Allo 1 SMD modules, to get a super tiny package able to receive, send and process all the informations required. Deciding what servo motor to use was uh, a bit tougher since it needed to be small enough to fit inside the C-tube while being powerful enough to pull the actuation lever on the dropper post. So I very scientifically measured how much force was required and uh, found out that a simple 9 gram metal gear to servo was enough. With all the components at my disposal I could finish the design of the other parts and proceed by 3D printing them. So here I have all the 3D printed parts that I'll need for the mechanism that will attach to the dropper post. It's pretty simple, there is uh, this pulley which will slot uh, between there. As you can see here I have uh, all the electronics, I already wired everything up. I attached the string to the servo motor which will uh, be slotted like so right in there this uh, string will be routed around the pulley going through this hole into the dropper post to activate it as you can see here there there are these two slots one will house the Siduino Xiao and the other one will house the NRF24 L1 and there will be this cover that will go on top of there and uh, will house the battery let me see if I have one right here, yes, the battery will go inside of there, it's uh, held uh, pretty tightly, okay, let's assemble it. As you can see the motor has just enough power to pull the lever, but is able to activate the dropper every single time, and most importantly the mechanism is small enough to fit inside the C-tube. The last thing I left to do is to build the controller, which will look sharp thanks to the help of PCBWay, which provided the awesome metal 3D printed housing and the lever, as well as the resin 3D printed battery compartment. Even though everything is assembled, we can't call this project finished, in fact uh, everything I built is just useless without a script to make it work. I started by writing a simple script to test the wireless communication between the receiver and the transmitter, and uh, when I got that working I added a finance of code to control the servo inside the receiver, and with that I had a working wireless dropper post.
In fact, the battery will last about one or two days at maximum and that's obviously not uh, very good. To solve this problem I have to do some software optimization and uh, fortunately on the transmitter side that's uh, very easy. I just had to add uh, a sleep function to keep the microcontroller asleep whenever the button is pressed. When I press the button it uh, sends a signal to the microcontroller which wakes uh, itself up. It uh, sends uh, the signal to the to the receiver and uh, after sending the signal it, it goes back to sleep. Doing so I was able to achieve about 5 microamps uh, of uh, current consumption which is very very low and uh, will allow this, uh, this unit to last about uh, I think about 2 or uh, 3 months. Unfortunately on the receiver side that's uh, optimizing the battery is a bit more difficult because uh, it has to always be active to listen to any radio signal the transmitter is sending. I can put uh, the, the microcontroller asleep uh, whenever it uh, doesn't uh, receive a signal, but the problem with that uh, is that uh, I, d I have no way of uh, waking the, uh, it up. The only way I could think of uh, was uh, by adding uh, a motion sensor to the, to the receiver, which will uh, tell the microcontroller when the bike uh, is uh, moving, so when I'm using it, keeping the microcontroller awake. When I store the bike, uh, it will detect that uh, it's, uh, it's still and will uh, make the microcontroller go to sleep. I didn't use uh, a proper motion sensor, but uh, instead I, I used uh, a tilt switch, which is a switch uh, with a, a ball inside of it, which, uh, depending on its orientation, closes or, or opens the circuit. I thought that uh, this ball, uh, with all the vibration of the bike, will uh, bounce around everywhere, letting the microcontroller know when, uh, when the bike is moving. Using the tilt switch as a motion sensor actually works uh, quite well. In fact, uh, now that the dropper is uh, still in the, on the table, if I, if I press the button, nothing happens. But uh, if I move it, simulating the vibration of the bike, now as you can see it now works perfect the engineers amongst you might have noticed uh, another slight issue in fact uh, the receiver will be completely encased in metal and because of that there is no way for the radio waves to get to it fortunately that can be simply fixed by soldering a solid copper wire to the PCB antenna and routing it through the hole left open by the cable and with that the wireless conversion is finished. Wait a minute, that's too good to be true. In fact, uh, I've been using this dropper for the last uh, four days and uh, it has actually been working very nicely until it didn't. Basically, the battery on the receiver already ran out after only four days and that's because uh, I didn't consider the current consumption of the servo motor in uh, idle. Basically I tried uh, hooking it up uh, to the battery and uh, just that consumes about uh, 5 uh, million pairs of current which is way way more than I expected. Because of that uh, I think I will just uh, put the cable back on because I don't plan on uh, keeping this uh, wireless system. Even though I'm not keeping this wireless conversion on my bike, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I'm sure that with some minor modification it could work perfectly well. Anyway, that's it for this video, I'll see you next time.